Hello and welcome to my video in trying to get the longest flight time out of the Flying 3D X6. Now I have ditched the standard battery and I'm using this one. It's actually a battery advertised for the V666 and the V262 helicopter. It doesn't work very well on that. It's a little bit heavy. It is a 2800 milliamp battery so it's over double the capacity of the original battery. Now it doesn't fit underneath so I have attached some rubber bands here and we are going to attach it underneath like so. Now I've got the two blade props on. Uh, the three blade uh, I'm, I'm not really a fan of them. Yeah it runs stable but you don't get a very long flight time out of it. I think the extra drag that is caused from attaching them really reduces the flight time. So, this is really just an experiment. I wouldn't recommend this battery for this quad. Uh, what you tend to get is you get a lot of stalls and vibrations in the arms. Uh, I don't know if that's to do with the settings of the flight controller. I don't really plug it into the ground station software. Some people have been reporting that it has bricked their uh, quadcopter. I don't want to do that at all. So, I'm going to wait until some other people have had more success with that before attempting it myself. Uh, next thing, uh, I do have the six inch props on the way uh, to see if we if that gets gets rid of the stability issues using this battery. But it's just very simple. I've got a stopwatch here on my phone. I'm going to see. I'm just going to hover it in my room with the GPS mode switched off and just see what kind of flight time I get. So I turn the transmitter on. Okay, I'm gonna start the stopwatch and let's go flying. You can hear the quad getting unstable, but it's perfectly flyable. Still got plenty of bumps, plenty of power. Just the flight control is not designed for this kind of weight. I'm going to fly this until the low voltage warning kicks in. I think it kicks in at about 7 volts or 6.9 volts. We're getting some satellites there. Lights are flashing blue. But we are inside. I don't expect to get any satellites.
just coming up to the four minute mark and we have 7.7 .7 volts We're on 6 minutes of flight and we are at still 7.6 volts. Still plenty of power. Coming up to 8 minutes flight, 7.4 volts now so we dropped a fair bit.
10 minute mark and it's come down to 7.3 volts. To have much more stick control with these two leaf props. Not as stable. Also carrying the big battery as well. It'd be interesting doing this outside using the GPS hold function. You could just watch it. Seven point two volts now at thirteen minutes. What about just under half throttle I think? Nah, actually I'm on half throttle to keep it into a harbor. Still got power though. Seven point one volts now. Fourteen minutes. Gonna fly till the LVC and then land.
seven volts now. <laughs> it started getting out of control at the well not out of control, I think that was me. Let's let's quickly get it back in the air. Yeah, that was my fault. It did start oscillating mine, maybe at the voltage getting low. Yeah, we definitely not got much power now. It's hovering though. Yeah, but when I start to use the yaw, it starts to lose power. Still that LVC didn't kick in. Ah, there we go. LVC kicked in at 7 volts. 17 minutes 18. Let's call it 17 for the, the time that I lost my eye off it and it crashed into the bed.